The beheading in Saudi Arabia last week of an Indonesian domestic helper has sparked protests in Indonesia and calls for an explanation from Saudi Arabian officials. 54 years old Ruyati Binti Sapubi left for Saudi Arabia three years ago to work as a housemaid. It did not occur to her family that they would never see her again. In May 2011, a court in Saudi Arabia found her guilty of murdering her female employer. In June 18th, Ruyati was beheaded. The family only got the news a day after the execution. I can't accept this. I feel like no one is defending my mother. No one cared about her. In the past 20 years, a total of 303 Indonesian migrant workers have been threatened with the death penalty. And the government in Indonesia has managed to help only 12 of them escape the death sentence. Embassy of Saudi Arabia in Jakarta is becoming a target of demonstration condemning the execution of Ruyati. But the protesters also hold the government of Indonesia responsible for what happened. There's so little protection for Indonesian workers overseas. This is about human life, not about a goat. The government of Indonesia said their official had done everything they could to save Ruyati. And they're also furious about what happened. Indonesia will recall its ambassador from Saudi Arabia and keep the ambassadorial post vacant until the issue is cleared. We're going to send a strong protest to Saudi Arabia so that in the future it will not violate international commitments again. But nothing can console the grieving daughter. Her only wish now is for the body of her mother to be brought back to Indonesia. Syarina Hasibuan, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.